Greetings Samurai Fayot here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to easily and consistently get mortal soul cores to improve your other soul cores or to change their type. Using soul cores actually allows you more easily than in other cases to change the type from feral, brute or phantom of any specific soul core you desire. It's easier, as I said, because most of those soul cores usually come with a specific attribute. So we're gonna go to the Shadow region, and this is the Brothers Blade mission. What I'm doing here, and I'm not even using my best stuff, I'm using a farmy build that I'm running with Nine Tails that allows to get better items when killing enemies in shift form. So what I'm doing here, I'm just dispatching the small fries really really quickly I've buffed myself as much as possible and after that I'm just waiting for the boss to debuff him as soon as he appears just unleash your debuffs and go ham on him if you are above level 250 or if you are around 200 or even lesser and you are well spec this boss is a joke Another benefit that you can get out of this situation, if you let him spawn his brother, like the Red Phantom that spawns, the Red Revenant, he might drop a Soul Core as well, so might be getting two for the price of one. Of course, it's a bit more dangerous to fight two bosses at the same time. Here you are. There he is. He won't cause much of a fuss. And as I said, there is a chance that he will drop a Soul Core as well. So, Shadow Region, the Brothers Blade, less than two and a half minutes to do this, and as you can see, two Mortal Soul Cores, you can do this very consistently. Sub, like, and share if you found this useful, guys. I'm covering everything in Neon 2. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always strive for perfection. Cheers!